Hello and welcome to another update video about AVAX. Yeah, what can I say? AVAX is still in the support zone, could still get one more high, but when we zoom out a little bit, then we will recognize that Theta, um, yeah, basically is not Theta, AVAX. <laughs> I just, I was just, I, I just analyzed Theta for channel members. So um, yeah, apologies. No, this is AVAX. So the AVAX chart, um, obviously formed an ABC structure to the upside. Yeah, that's been the view for quite some time. And in this ABC structure, I mean, this could be wave A of a larger wave two, which would then follow be followed by a B wave pullback and a C wave higher. Uh, as long as support holds, we're not there yet. Okay, we haven't even formed a clear top. But it's, you know, looking at this, it will tell you that of an ABC structure, the waves A and B are complete. In the C wave, we have already the one, the two, the three, the four probably complete as well. And it's literally just the fifth wave still missing. So from a reward to, to risk point of view, I mean, I don't see short term high potential for higher prices. Surely $54 still a possible target and still a reasonable expectation as long as the $39 level is holding. Below that level, I've got one more support at $29, but bef below that level, I assume that wave B here is in the making. So the highest probability element of this rally is over. Uh, it even exceeded my target area, which was $30 to $40. So we now are just above that, um, my initial target area. Now, I think, you know, we could still stretch to 54, but it's obviously Again, you know, it's done most of it. If we, if we measure from down here, the price basically rallied like to the top here, like 450%. I mean, it could literally get a little more to get maybe to 500%, but that's, I mean, I, w I don't want to say that's it. Without a break of support, we cannot confirm a top in place, but it's just about, okay, you know, what is, what is likely, what is reward and risk? And, you know, are there other opportunities in the market that haven't rallied that much? but that have a good setup. Um, but anyway, here in the short term, I mentioned to you that it is absolutely possible uh, that the wave four already, bought, so wave four of C bottomed here on the 13th of December. And now it's forming five waves up in wave five, wave one complete, wave two complete, wave three complete, wave four possibly complete and one more high could finish off an ending diagonal which could be followed by a pretty sharp correction. So it could literally be one more high, um, which it doesn't need to get, okay? I mean, it would be ideal to get it, but it doesn't need it, absolutely not. So there's no must, okay? But what I'm watching here is support at $39. Below that level, the um, chances have increased that we're already in a larger B wave pullback, but it could still try to reset the wave four. It could still try to reset the wave four. So. My view, my, my thought process is ideally we get one more high. Okay, if not, if it breaks below 39, then I will explore if this was just an A overshooting B wave, C wave, and we'll try again for the fifth wave. But again, you know, below $39, it will get a little bit un, unreliable. I think then we are probably already in the B wave pullback. It could still reset wave four. I just need to mention that. That's why I still have it on the chart here. Um, I think you should know that, but... Uh, it's just then you know then it will look quite quite you know this this correction will get quite massive compared to the wave two so maybe you know i leave the support on the chart but i take the i take the, the count of the chart because i look at the wave two here look at the wave four in the good proportions but if the wave four is that massive it doesn't fit anymore you know a b c compare that with the size of the wave two yeah, it doesn't really, it doesn't really look right. So I think it's either now get that one more high or we're coming down in the B wave. But at the moment, as long as we're holding $39, I prefer one more high. It's now in the support zone, but hasn't shown me enough uh, price movements and action to confirm that we're already in that fifth wave to the upside. So we need to remain patient. Not much more to add, I think. Just bear in mind that once the top is in place, um, this is the overall support area for the B wave pullback. It's between $25 and 57 and 12 57. 
So it could potentially be quite a deep pullback um, before then, if the pullback is corrective and we're holding support, then a C wave higher can unfold later. So it gets basically this ABC correction. Uh, it is technically possible that the wave two is already in, then we would head to new bear market lows from here. That's not what I primarily what I'm primarily looking for in this kind of market at the moment. But again, I, I think you should know it's possible. Don't think it has to get that C wave up. I'm going to be looking for it, but it's it's remotely possible that the wave two already topped because this can count as an ABC structure. So it's technically already sufficient to complete this wave two. It also went high enough in the resistance area to be all of wave two. But again, it's not what I'm primarily watching for. That's my update about AVEX. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.